I like to discuss infrared photography. In this video, I'll show you how to make leaves white in your 590 and 720 nanometer color infrared images. I'll cover multiple techniques in Photoshop and Lightroom, and I'll address some of the tricky situations that you may encounter. Are you interested in learning more about infrared photography? Check out my book, Color Doesn't Exist, a practical guide to infrared photography. It's full of details for photographers at all skill levels. A link is in the description. Let's start in Photoshop. This is a 720 nanometer image captured with the Kalari Pocket. This is a JPEG image. As you can see here, the leaves are already pretty white, but let's say I want to make the sky blue. That's going to make some changes, and then we'll see what happens and how we get our leaves back to white. Uh, this is pretty well color balanced already. Because it's a JPEG, I had to color balance when I was shooting. So let's swap colors. So I'll take the, I'll open up the uh, infrared actions that I have. If you want to use these actions, you can download them. Uh, link is available in the description to download my Photoshop actions for swapping colors. I'm going to use the RB swap, which is just the red blue channel mixer swap, and I'll hit run to execute that. And now you can see that a little bit of color has been added to the trees and the sky is not quite sky blue, maybe a little bit teal. How do we make our trees white again? So what we want to do, we've got the channel mixer that's been added here down in layers. I can go down to the uh, adjustment layers and add a hue saturation adjustment layer. And then I can go to the this picker, this hand picker, and click that. Then I'll go over to my image and I'll grab an area of the trees, click, and then I'll drag to the left. And that will drag down the saturation. So you'll see here, if you look on the right, you can see in the properties panel that when I used this picker, it selected the red channel uh, of all of the channels available. Uh, it defaults to master, but in this case it picked red. And then when I dragged to the left, it dragged the saturation all the way down, and I now have uh, sort of pure white here in my trees. Now, if I want to adjust the sky, I can adjust the sky as well and use the picker to grab the sky. But in this case, I don't want to adjust the saturation. I want to adjust the hue. And the way that you can adjust the hue is by holding down the control key or the command key on the Mac. So if I use this picker, grab the sky, holding down the control key, I can slide the hue around to get the precise color that I want to get something a little bit more sky blue realistic. So there we go. So this is now a 720 nanometer image in which I've desaturated the colors in the foliage so that I have white leaves in the trees. And this is again is a JPEG image. Next up is a 590 nanometer image. This was shot in raw, so I will have to do a color balance here in editing and then do my color swap. So let's start by selecting a color profile. I will select the negative 100 temp profile, and then I'll go to set a custom white balance. I'll use my color picker, and we will drag, let's see, we'll grab, not a lot of clouds here. I'm going to grab a bit of ground here uh, that I think is pretty neutral. So now I can see a good white balance. I have this uh, golden sky in the background and a soft blue foliage on the tree. So now that I've got my color set, I can open up this image. So I will select open object. If you don't see open object allows me to come back and edit it as a raw layer if I want to. If you don't see that available, you can click uh, from the drop down menu and select open as object. Okay, now that I have this image open up in Photoshop, the first thing that I want to do is swap colors. So I can pick a, a method to swap from my actions. In this case, I think I'll try the invert and then we will run. And now we have a uh, blue sky and we have sort of a soft orange color in the tree. So the same process that I want to follow, I'll go down to the adjustment layers and select a hue and saturation adjustment layer. We'll grab the hand picker, click on a color in the tree. You can see it grabs the reds again and I can desaturate. And this will usually get much of the color that exists within a 590 nanometer image, but because there's more color being captured in a 590 nanometer image compared to a 720, I may actually want to do two color channels. So I could come over to the yellow color channel, select that manually, and then also drag 
the saturation down for that entirely as well. And you'll, it's very subtle the difference, but you can see if I just take this back to zero, there's a little bit of a hint of a hue of color in there. And if I drag that down to negative 100, that completely removes all the color. So be aware that if you are shooting in 590 or a cutoff filter that ha includes a little bit more color, you may want to desaturate multiple channels in order to be able to fully desaturate the foliage in the image. All right, let's jump over to Lightroom and take a look at how to reduce your foliage saturation in Lightroom. This is a 590 nanometer image that is shot in RAW. So the first thing that I will do is select a profile that'll allow me to set a good white balance. I'll use my picker and I'm gonna grab something probably down here in the ground to get my color. So now I have a yellow sky and blue foliage in the trees. The next thing that I want to do is swap my colors. So in this case, I'm going to use a color swap profile. So I'll go down into the profile browser and scroll down here. You can create your own color swap profiles. I've got instructions in another video and on my blog, or you can uh, purchase these from my website. So these will allow you to swap colors directly in Lightroom without a round trip to Photoshop. So I will pick one of these. I'll pick the Let's see, I like the, let's just do the red blue channel mixer swap and then I will close. Okay, so now I can work on the colors specifically. So in Lightroom, I'm gonna do that in the HSL panel. So we'll click on HSL and then I will select saturation. I'll use the dropper and then select part of the leaves here in this tree and then drag down. And as I drag down, you'll be able to see on the right that it is, is impacting, in this case, the blue channel because I'm swapping, I'm using basically a LUT to swap these colors on the fly. So HSL thinks that I'm adjusting the blues, but we know that I'm actually adjusting sort of the oranges and reds. So be aware of that when you're trying to make color adjustments using a color swap profile in Lightroom. Now you can see it adjusted predominantly the blues, but also the aquas. And if I wanted to, I could just go ahead and drag aqua down all the way Okay, let's look at one more method for making your leaves white within Lightroom. So I've got another image here and we'll go through a similar starting process. I will work on a, a profile to allow me to set a good white balance. I will white balance probably off the tree here. That'll get me an orange sky, slight blue there. You could see the color temperature gauge kind of capped so I could either drag down to look for a different value that gets me some some blue purple in the trees. I might let me try a, the other profile and see if that gets me a better result. I think that's a little bit better, a little bit cleaner separation between the two. Let me work the slider a little bit here, see some of the differences. Okay, so that's pretty good. So now I have my white balance set. So the next thing I want to do is swap colors. So I'll go down into my color swap profiles and I will pick a color swap. Let's do an invert for this one. So now I've swapped my colors. So you can see here, based on the, the uh, white balance that I've set, I already have lost a lot of the saturation within the trees themselves, but let's work on a little bit more. So the other technique that we want to use is a mask. So we'll go into mask, which is this button here, and I'm going to go down to color range. And with color range, I can now select a range of colors that I wish to impact. So I'm going to go into this tree here and I'm actually going to draw a pretty good size box. I want, to, I want this to cover different shades of color within the tree and not so much the sky. So I can select that and there you can see the mask will appear and that shows a pretty good example of how it selected only the saturation, the, the colors within the trees and not the sky. And now that I've done that, I can come down to the saturation adjustment and I can drag this all the way to the left and then just completely remove any saturation that I want that's available. The other thing that you can do uh, once you have this, once you've made this selection in the mask is I can use the refine tool, refine the amount of colors that are selected. So in, in this case, if I went all the way to the right, you can see it starts to impact the sky a little bit because it's starting to select. If I do show overlay, you can see the impact directly. So refining to 100% grabs more colors. And then as I reduce the refinement, you can see 
it'll eventually break off the sky and only grab other colors. So you can use this refinement to decide which colors are affected. This could help if you have fringing problems and you want to be very precise. You can see down here, uh, these branches down here are the ones that tend to be, they're, they're almost immediately affected by the refinement. So use that refinement for an adjustment. Do you use another method in Photoshop or Lightroom for making your foliage white? Maybe you use a different editor to make your leaves white. Share your technique in the comments below. If you find these videos helpful on your infrared photography journey, please consider liking, subscribing, or leaving a comment. Do you have any topics related to infrared photography that you'd like to see addressed? Leave a comment below. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.